Lee Harris. He was the morning anchor for 1010 Winds in New York City on 9-11. Uh, that's a radio station where most New Yorkers got their headlines, their news when they left home. He joins us now. Uh, Lee, thanks for your time this morning. You were on air all morning long from that first hit onward. Take us back to those moments when you realized on air that you're about to deliver the most devastating news most Americans and New Yorkers would ever hear. It was a classic case of uh, everything was fine until it wasn't. It was a very boring morning news-wise. We had a primary election was the lead story. We knew how it was going to turn out and no surprises. Then at uh, 8.45, we hear, heard on the fire scanners that a small plane had hit the North Tower of the World Trade Center. This was alarming, but we weren't panicking at that point. Uh, I got on the air at 9 o'clock. I'm talking to an eyewitness who then reported an explosion in the South Tower. And uh, I could see on television, they showed the obviously airliner-sized plane flying into the South Tower. And at that moment, I knew that uh, we probably were in a state of war. With whom? It wasn't clear. But I took the initiative at that point and stated, uh, this is obviously a terrorist attack. Of course, I had no actual knowledge of that, but there was no other sensible explanation for what was going on. It was a bright, sunny day, not a cloud in the sky. I still get a little worried when I don't see clouds in the sky because of this. And at that point, we, we knew it was on. We were at war. We didn't know with whom, uh, but we had some suspicions. But that's when we knew things had changed and probably permanently. And Lee, I know that this is particularly difficult for New Yorkers because it's so sensitive and it was at home. At what point did you and everyone in your newsroom figure out what was going on and that it wasn't simply an accident? I think after the second plane had certainly by the time the Pentagon was hit and uh, Shanksville after that. Uh, for me, the uh, most amazing thing was that some people did get to, you know, witness it and hear about it from beginning to end. But what if you were a late shift worker, you know, had gone to bed at 4 a.m., you went to bed, the World Trade Center was there, you woke up, it wasn't. Lee, I want to thank you again for your perspective this morning. We know that this is difficult for so many New Yorkers, and I know that today marks a special moment for you and your friends and colleagues as well. We look forward to continuing this conversation and in our next hour. Yeah, we will check back in. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.